most or a lot of that song was written as a like a big band jazz tune I had scored for college called A Walk Through Necropolis. I didn't write that melody as part of that thing. When, when we were putting it together as a Mr. Bungle song, mm-hmm. like Patton wrote sort of the penultimate riff where it slows down and goes, dun, 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 dun. That thing okay. made, made the tune into a Mr. Bungle song because before that it was like, you know, just my attempt at a big band tune. But I never had a compelling bridge section. He wrote that part of it, and it was like, that works, you know, we'll make a song out of it. So then we had to have the lyrics and the melody over top of it. And out of nowhere, he just came up with that melody over top of that chord clustery stuff. That's what he heard, and he did it consistently. He never changed yeah. the notes. This is just how he heard it, which was, yeah, it's authentically bitonal, I suppose, but that's because he's hearing it in his own way. 